Hi everybody, thanks for watching a new video. Um, today I wanted to address a question that was asked on one of my previous videos and that was what exercises did I do and what foods did I eat along this four year journey. Um, and I have to say it might not be the same for everybody but when I started out um, I was almost 400 pounds so I wasn't able to do anything so the only exercise I really did was walking not even power walking just like taking a walk around the block and it really did start with just walking around the block uh, when I started this I was living on First Avenue and all of our streets in that town are like First Avenue, Second Avenue, Third Avenue, etc. and just walking to Fourth Avenue was impossible for me at the beginning and after I think a month I was walking all the way to 32nd so it was uh, you know and this was just like casually walking it just took me time to, to, to you know use my muscles that I wasn't using get over the pain and like you know being out of breath and everything so when I started out it was really just walking and I was also doing a bit of swimming as well as working out with those like stretchy bands just to kind of you know get a little bit flexible I also tried some yoga and I just like I couldn't get into it back then um, so I would do stretching so that's really where I started was just incorporating very simple things into my everyday routine stretching taking a walk and after a while I started biking I started skating um, now like I'm just I'm, I'm active all the time I'm I go to the gym now but this is a very recent thing I started going to the gym about a year ago I just renewed my membership so it's been just over a year and for the most part of the year I didn't go because I preferred to be active outside of the gym now I've got my personal trainer I'm doing a lot of uh, targeted <laughs> workouts which are quite difficult um, but they're, they're you know they're, I really already see results which is amazing but so that's really what I started doing is just very simple things I didn't start out going crazy or doing workout exercises on like the DVDs or going to the gym I just slowly incorporated moving into my lifestyle uh, a big one that I did that I actually forgot to mention that is in my book that I give away um, on my website is um, dancing I would just dance, put on some music while I was cleaning and just dance. Just kind of, you know, and I call it doing the hula hoop, just always moving. Just turning everyday simple things like when you're cooking or when you're cleaning, when you're watching TV and just kind of move around a bit. It just kind of gets the, the blood flowing, the heart pumping. And if you're really new to exercising, it's amazing. As for foods, um, I didn't really uh, go on any diet. I do to this day still avoid anything that's zero calorie or low fat like the plague because that stuff is complete crap and it's terrible for you. Um, I eat a lot of quinoa, um, a lot of lentils, a lot of beans. I tried to substitute a lot of my animal protein for healthier proteins and just kind of learning how to substitute things. Like if I was going to make spaghetti or pasta, I would use spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash and butternut squash. I, I, I eat that as main meals all the time. Uh, quinoa, lentils, uh, beans, I make bean burgers, I mash things together with some broccoli, um, just uh, so many varied recipes. Uh, chicken, I eat some chicken, but mostly I substitute a lot of the animal proteins. Uh, just It was just like a personal thing that I was doing. And now even though like I don't uh, focus strictly on that, I still do eat a lot of them because I love them. Uh, so I cut out a lot of the carbs. Um, I eat a lot less bread. I love bread and cheese. They're just the best things ever. I still eat them, but I know what my triggers are, and I know that when I eat bread, uh, I, 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 get, I swell up, and I'm sluggish. It's just slow. Anything that has flour in it, I still eat it, but uh, really it was just that. It was just looking up recipes, healthy recipes. One of the blogs that I got a lot of inspiration from was um, this Rossum Vegan Life. I really like that one. I bought her her baking cookbook. And uh, Oh She Glows, that's another one that I really enjoy. So just looking at people who are healthy eaters and seeing what they make and the variety of foods that they can make that I had no idea about was just a really good place to start with. So that's really, in a nutshell, how I started my journey. Walking, um, eating a lot of uh, healthy proteins, and avoiding anything that was low fat and diet because that stuff is loaded with sugar and it's absolute crap. I still eat sugar. I have candy and chocolate in my pantry right now. Uh, you know, I don't like, I don't, you know, cut it out of my life. I'm not a Puritan. But I don't eat low fat salad dressing. I just eat the full fat salad dressing unless I make my own. Like, I just, anything that's low fat, zero calories, I, I, that's crap, that's bullshit. I, I, I don't pay attention to it at all. Um, anyways, everything, you know, things work for different people, but that's just pretty much how I started out in my journey. 